Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download Steam Workshop mods for non-Steam games. So it's like a quick and easy but full tutorial. Covers like Epic and Xbox. So if you download something on Epic and you want the mods from Steam, then this is how you do it. I did do a video about 11 months, 12 months ago, and unfortunately, it was pretty obsolete very quickly because Valve took the website down, <laughs> which is really annoying because it was a really good and easy way to do it. You will need 7-zip, WinRAR, something like that to uh, extract the file, but that's about it. So you want to head over to developer.valvesoftware.com slash wiki slash Steam CMD. I'll put a link in the description as always. Steam CMD, for those who don't know, is like, it's like a development kind of thing for Valve. It's like command prompt. If you've ever used that, it's really easy to use. So once you've got the page open, just head down and go down to downloading Steam CMD and just click that little one there. Once it's downloaded, you'll get something looking like this if you've got 7-zip and you'll need to create a Steam CMD folder. For those who don't know how to create a folder, just go to the drive you want to save it in so you can see where I've saved it. Click new, click folder, call it Steam CMD or whatever and extract it into there. If you've got 7-zip, you just have to click and drag. It's super easy. Once you've done that, open Steam CMD and you'll be presented with something that looks like this. Now you will see a bunch of things like this. It's just basically downloading the updates and extracting. It's it's nothing to worry about. It's what it does. And if you've ever used command prompt, you know exactly what this is. Now the way I'm going to show you includes logging in anonymously. If any of the mods don't work you may have to log in via your steam username and password because some mods are restricted to the game and it checks your account to see if you've got them so if a mod doesn't download it's probably that however in this case we're just going to log in a n o n y m o u s that's what you need to do i'll put that obviously in the description and as you can see it just gathers that if you were going to log in via your proper account what you could do is then download a game to your account. It's quite clever how it works. If you ever want to learn Steam CMD, it's actually quite interesting. But yeah, once you're in, you'll see it like that. And that's how you know you're logged in. Next, you're going to head over to your Steam workshop. So in this case, I've just went over to Space Engineers. If you don't know how to find the workshop or the easiest way to do it, just come into your Steam. Go at the game you want to download. So we'll just put Space Engineers in, for example. Click on there. You go to Community Hub, you click Workshop. There's all your mods. We'll just select a random one, Freight Contracts. Click on there, and you want to grab this link up. Once you've grabbed that link, head over to this website, which is steamworkshopdownloader.io. This was the website that you could download from before, but Valve shut it down. In here, copy and paste your link. You'll see it pop up here. And you can see there, does it work with anonymous login or not? It'll tell you. If you need to log in properly, you'll have to. Um, do you know? Yes, I do. Click here to copy. So you just copy that. Go to here. Press Control V. Press Enter. Downloads the item. There you go. It's now saved it to E, Steam Apps Workshop. So if we bring back up here. Follow that link. So we're going to E, we're going to uh, Steam Apps, Workshop, Content, and there you go. There's your file that you've just downloaded that mod. And you'll have to work out where that has to go into your game file. Obviously, you might have to click, you'll have to click and drag, copy and paste, or whatever. But there you go. That is the mod downloaded. It is as easy as that. I know it's a little one step more, but all you do is go in here, put in there copy and paste into here, press enter, go into here and then put it where you need to be. It's not too hard. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, give me a shout and I'll try and answer them and I'll catch you all later. Goodbye.